you know what? It's interesting that both of you are here because now we know who's making the better margarita. Laura. <laughs> you sure? Laura makes a better one? Yes. Yes? How do you know? Um, because I tried it. And then you married her? Uh, I married her. <laughs> That's how it works. Make a good margarita, you find a good wife. Is that so? Yes. <laughs> What are the main ingredients for a good traditional lime Mexican margarita? The first margarita was created in Mexico was uh, with fresh lime juice. The real thing. Basically. That's right. Don't yeah. get it in a bottle. It has to be the thing you cut with a knife, right? Yes. You yeah. cut with a knife. A little bit of sugar and also all the your favorite tequila. You talk about favorite tequila. What are we doing? Blanco? Are we doing Anejo? We're doing tequila gold because for cocktails, always it's recommended to use tequila gold. It's like a expensive whiskey. Your favorite, you won't mix it in the drinks, right? With juice or sugar. It has the same thing with tequilas. The original recipe has orange stickers. And we put a little bit of uh, fresh orange juice too. What are we going to use for the salt around the room? We use tahini. And you can get it here at Aromi? Yeah. So 50-50. 50, 50, 50, 50 sea salt. Different and 50% tahin. So take us through the process. First thing is, you're gonna wet the room. Nice. And I, look, I like to do this, because then the salt is not in the middle of the glass. Help me with the ratios, because I get mine wrong. It depends, if you want a single, mm -hmm. you do two shots of this, and this one is one. How much juice do you put in? One, two, three, ten, that's it. <laughs> one, two, three, that's orange juice. How much of the lime do you put in? Half a glass or also you have to take and try so you're not going to tell me how you did the lime juice are you no <laughs> see she keeps on saying there is a secret here all right now <laughs> now you do the dancing yeah. you're going to do the dance <laughs> then you have to take and always never touch this part the salt because if you touch it and the flavors and mix it. What do you have in there? Because we didn't put any leaves in here and I see little green leaves floating around. Yes. I put a little bit of cilantro today to make a different flavor. What people do always is like, you take this one, squeeze the lime when you're drinking, you mm -hmm. a little take the salt, then I do this. <laughs> <laughs> That's where it happens. Okay, good. I'll tell you, straw things is not for cowboys. You're going to take the straw out. All right. I'm going to have a go at this side and see. Wow. That cilantro makes a big difference. Yes. Definitely makes a big difference. So here we have traditional margarita. Very special aroma mix. The next is going to be mango. Mm -hmm. I blend the fresh mango. And I put a little bit of sugar on the end brown sugar. This is like three shots of this one. And then I put the tequila there. Same idea here, double shot tequila. Mm -hmm. Ah, you need the triple sec too. Has to be always orange liquor and tequila. The combination in between the eyes, uh, the orange liquor and tequila, that's what make the flavors. And what I'm doing with this one, which is I like what I like to do, I put a little bit of mezcal. A little bit of mezcal, you're giving it a bit of a kick. Do we put any garnish on this? No? This is perfecto? This is perfecto. We should drink more of these ones. <laughs> now I understand why, why the ladies always order this. They didn't tell us in on the secret. <laughs> it's got everything. It's got salty, it's got sweet, it's got smoky. It's because mezcal is for ladies. We mezcal like is for <laughs> ladies. You have a serrano chili and you keep bringing up, you're going to make us a chili margarita. What's the story there? In Mexico, it's spicy with the alcohol, it tastes really good. I have a little bit of tequila. Serrano pepper. You have to cut it. You take out the seeds? You take out the seeds. Yeah, I, they... I, I leave it, but I will take it out for you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please take them out. I know exactly what's going to happen tomorrow morning. This is going to be very smooth flavor of the serrano, not very spicy. In the shaker? Yeah. So a single shot of tequila, half a shot of triple sec, a little bit of sugar. And we have our lime juice, two limes, fresh limes, squeezed in there. We've got a half a chili chopped up, no pips, also goes in there. All in the blender? <laughs> no, not the blender, the shaker. Because if you get that chili pepper all blended up, you're not going to drink this, I promise you. Break the ice. And after, just we need the juice. Moment of truth. I've never had this before. Man. Does everybody in Mexico know about this? 
I don't know <laughs> with everybody, but some, yeah. So tell me, where did you learn to make this? I just love to do drinks. I learned myself, I, I make the drinks for Aroma. So when people come to Aroma Mexican here in Canmore, yeah. they ask for the Albuster Margarita. We definitely come as two cowboys every time for that margarita and I still haven't figured out what's the secret in it apart from the cilantro. She wouldn't give it away but I can tell you an Albuster margarita is something very special. Now the only thing that goes with a good margarita a is... Good taco? Good taco. A good food? Yes. I think Jose is at the it's back. Cooking, he's yeah. cooking, yeah. Yeah. He's going to awesome. bring it for good. you. Yeah. For sure. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thanks to you. Now you don't have a margarita too. Are you? Which one do you want? Just, just, I, I made one for me, don't worry. Right on. <laughs> awesome. Cheers. Good.